Hello, my name is Josephine Lang and I'm a natural healer and I'd like to share with you what I do personally for my COVID-19 prevention routine. And of course, the most important thing is building our immunity. And I did a blog in March of this year on colds and flu, how your, uh, your building your immunity is your best defense against any kind of a situation. And viruses, as you know, can return when we have a dip in our immunity. So things like herpes or even chicken pox can later manifest as shingles decades later. Um, or in the case of herpes, if somebody's immunity dips, then they might have an outbreak. So we do want to take care not to get this virus if we can, because we don't know, we haven't studied it for years like many of the other viruses. So we don't know how it's going to affect us down the line. And also viruses mutate, so we want to help prevent the spread of these, this virus as much as possible. So of course the things you know, washing your hands with soap as many times as you can during the course of the day, trying not to touch your face so that you don't introduce a little tiny, they're microbes, they're teeny teeny teeny, so you don't want to introduce them into your eyes or into your nostrils or your lips. And then of course wearing a mask. I got a little pack of these disposable masks and I find they work very well. Um, this particular brand, the, uh, the masks did not have a, uh, a wire inside of them. They had a little plastic inside, and so it wouldn't bend well to fit to my nose. So my husband very sweetly went ahead and took out the plastic and put in a wire so that you can really bend it to fit exactly on your face as you like, so that you don't wind up with that gap right up here by your nose. Um, the plastic just kind of didn't stay and there was this hole there, so I didn't like it very well. So now this particular mask works much better. It really conforms to my face and there's no real leaks around. So these are nice, they're disposable. Um, it's not recommended to reuse them, I must confess. I do, but, I, but what I usually do when I am going to reuse it is I'll give it a little spray with something like my air detox that I get from Dr. Schultz, uh, www.herbdoc.com. I'll just give it a little spray front and back and then I set it in the sun because as you know, sun also helps to cut down and dis, dis, uh, uh, to break apart this coronavirus. And then as well, I keep these in the car. I have a little mixture of uh, Dr. Schultz's air detox and I'll go ahead and spray my hands and wipe the steering wheel, spray the door handles, that sort of thing from time to time. I'll also use a hydrogen peroxide. We have gone ahead and diluted this to like 1%. I understand that this particular virus gets denatured or disturbed at about 0.5%. Uh, so I've been going ahead and diluting. You can get the 3% hydrogen peroxide at the store. And what would you do? What you would do is just one part wa uh, hydrogen peroxide to two parts water would make a 1% solution, which should be plenty strong enough. And then we also spray our shoes, so when we come home from the store, we'll go ahead and spray them. I usually take them off and put them in the sun, spray them on the inside and out, just to make sure. Because I do a lot of laying around on the floor in my house from time to time, and so, and then we'll spray our hands, that sort of thing. Um, so in the car I'll have, you know, also sometimes I'll have this Everclear solution, which this is Everclear, it's a very strong 120 proof alcohol and I'll dilute it. I usually go with a little bit of witch hazel. I maybe will go with 20 tablespoons of Everclear to maybe uh, three tablespoons of witch hazel and a little aloe vera and a few drops of essential oil if you want to make it smell nice. I've got the frankincense here and that works really well. And then as well when we come home from the grocery store I'll usually make a bath in the sink for the produce. I'll put apples and parsley and anything else that we have in that water bath with some dish soap in it, just enough to make a few soapy bubbles. I'll let the groceries sit in there for, oh, you know, just a few minutes, uh, you know, maybe two or three minutes, and then I'll rinse them and dry them. Just, and which is not a bad practice anyway, because the groceries sometimes they're sprayed with things while they're traveling, when the people are handling them in the cars or whatever. Then as well, on the evenings, on a day after I've been out in public, um, you know, of course, when we come home, we usually shower, wash down, put our clothes in the wash, that sort of thing, just to practice extra safety. Um, and then in the evenings, I'll go ahead and use a nebulizer. This is a way that uh, medicines can be distributed. A lot of asthmatics have this. You can turn it on by pushing the little button, and then in a little while, you can see that a little steam is coming out. Perhaps you can see that. And then I'll go ahead and breathe a little 
And what this is, is this is not just regular steam. What this is, is a dilute solution of hydrogen peroxide. And a friend of mine had sent me a link to Mercola's website. And he was using this with a little saline in the water. I prefer it just straight up and I just use a, like a 0.75 or a 0.5% solution because hydrogen peroxide, as you know, is quite damaging to the skin. If you put it on a wound, you'll see that little uh, bubbles come up where the cells are being killed. So you don't want to overdo it. But um, that's what I do personally just to try to keep myself safe. So in closing, what I'd like to say is I think perhaps the most important thing for us to do is to think good thoughts. If we get worried and scared and paranoid, that is going to send down neural pathways to kind of help keep us in that place. And really thinking good thoughts, we know that's a very effective thing. In places where uh, there have been, you know, boxing matches or other uh, aggressive acts going on, the crime rate will go up. Whereas if there's a whole lot of meditators out doing something, the crime rate will drop. And so we want to kind of realize that fear can be seductive and we want to keep ourselves with our thoughts good. So this is what I do. When I do it, I feel safe. I feel like I've taken good care of myself and I've done what I can do to keep myself safe. And so I, I feel good about it. Um, hopefully it'll work. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> but I wish you all well. And in closing, I'd like to say stay safe, be well, and take good care. All right, thanks so very much. And please check out my website, Step Into Magic, if you get a chance. Thank you so very much for listening. Bye for now.